All right, Mr. Ahmed here for 6.1 part four. We're gonna look at a special case here where we have a negative exponent outside the parentheses. And these are just a little bit tricky because you have to be super careful with your signs, all right? So in this process here with our negative exponents, okay, we still have to distribute it to everything inside. So two to the negative third, x to the negative third, and over y to the negative third. Now the problem here is we have negative exponents all over the place, which we can't finish with. So we have to simplify by flipping it, okay? We're gonna bring our negative exponent from the basement up to the top, y to the third. Our two has to go downstairs, and that's two to the third, which is eight. And x to the third also goes downstairs because we cannot keep negative exponents. Next one, here we go, six to the negative second. X, negative two times two is negative four. Seven times negative two is negative 14. Now we have three to the negative second, X to the negative sixth, and Y to the negative 10th. So again, negative exponents all over the place. We have to simplify. Now in this one first, um, we are going to make our fraction. I can move the six downstairs, six squared, three upstairs. But now with these, we need to subtract, okay? Negative four minus negative six is positive two. So x squared is on top. Negative 14 minus negative 10 is negative four. So negative four on top. Now I can't leave this negative four. So I gotta do this one more time. 3 squared, I'm going to simplify to 9. 6 squared is 36. X can stay. Y has to go down stairs. Okay, so a lot of work on that one. That's a tough one. One more. Give this one a shot and then come back. See how you do. All right, hopefully you did okay here. So a lot of steps here. So we have 2, negative third. X to the negative sixth y to the negative 18th on the bottom, 4 to the negative 3rd, x to the negative 9th, and y to the negative 3rd. Now I can move my 2 and my 4 because those are different bases, so 4 is coming up top, 2 is going down to the bottom, have to move the negatives, now we got to subtract. So negative 6 minus negative 9 turns to a positive 3, so that's x to the 3rd on top. Negative 18 minus negative 3 is negative 15. So I can't leave that negative 15 upstairs. It's going to have to go down to the basement. But I am going to simplify this a little further. 4 to the 3rd is 64. x to the 3rd stays. 2 to the 3rd is 8. And y had to go down to the basement to make it a positive. All right, that's it for our special cases. This be super careful with your signs as you're going here, uh, and then you're going to simplify. Have a good one.